It's really quite a hostile little environment, this in the middle of the night. The waves crashing into these little rock pools and things can get quite turbulent at times. But underneath all the foam, there's a layer of relatively clear water in which you can see quite incredible things if you have a little bit of light. It's very eerie and this could be at the bottom of the deep ocean but it's not. It's only about two meters deep. Lots of sea urchins, sea hares and quite a barren looking environment here in these rock pools. I was hunting along these little ledges looking in all the crevices for some little story to unfold amongst these strange coral heads and groups of very spiny sea urchins. Now this is the common octopus or octopus vulgaris. It's not a very complimentary name for such an interesting animal. He came barreling down a little gully towards me and it was quite obvious that he was hunting. Looking for likely spots where prey would be holding up under these little ledges. uses the ends of its tentacles to explore the little crevices. You can see it extending its legs under the ledges here, feeling out for any possible food items. Really blocking off any exits for little fish or crabs. Lots of little fish sleeping on the reef here, being startled as the octopus moves around. This creature has three hearts, one for each gill and one to pump blood around its body. And the metabolism of this creature is obviously quite high, they don't live for very long. As soon as they mate, it basically signals the end of their life. So the whole life process of this animal is somewhat accelerated. Changing colour, pulsing to white every now and again, reverting back to a rust, becoming almost invisible at times. And it's quite obvious here that its quest for food is pretty urgent. very poisonous spiny fish, the devil firefish. Not particularly good prey for the octopus, obviously. It takes a moment to reflect. works its way around a prickly sea urchin. And if I was a little fish, I would be extremely scared of this formidable predator coming at you from all sides with its eight legs. Eventually, the octopus, I think, tired of the attention that I was giving it, 
took a good look at me and decided to retreat into a little crevice. Here you'll see it reversing into an extremely small space. And I decided to leave it alone. Obviously I was interrupting its strike rate during its hunting.